Hello and welcome back Techies. Today we will cover a topic to help you understand basics of VLAN and how to implement VLAN in MicroRig Router. VLAN or virtual LAN is used to segment broadcast domain. So it will reduce number of devices in broadcast domain as it logically segments broadcast domain. Each VLAN is treated as separate broadcast domain and devices on VLAN are restricted to communicate with the device that are on the same VLAN. VLANs are often associated with IP subnetworks. So all the end devices that are on particular IP or subnet belong to the same VLAN. Okay, some facts about VLAN. VLAN works at data link layer on OSI layer and most common used protocol for VLAN on Ethernet network is 802.1Q. It inserts four white tag into standard Ethernet frame. The maximum number of VLAN in one interface is 4095. So with VLAN, you can make multiple LAN in one single physical interface. You can make the local network simple and also you can apply policy on a specific villain. There are two types of port we can configure on villain. There's access port and trunk port. Access port in router OS we call it untapped port. In access port you can assign only one villain. And trunk port in router OS we call it tech port. You can send multiple villain on this single port. Villain configuration is very simple. Let's see a diagram first. This is a diagram of inter villain routing example, which is common practice in an enterprise network. For inter villain communication, we will use a router and a manageable switch. If there is no router, a host will communicate with other host only if it's on the same VLAN. So a router is required to provide communication between VLANs. So this network will communicate with this network only if there is a router. Otherwise it cannot communicate with other devices on the different VLAN. So we will create a trunk that will carry traffic from three villains, villain 100, villain 101, and villain 102. This port will be trunk, and this port will be access port, or we can call it as untagged port in router OS. Switch configuration is very straightforward. You need to define which ports are members of the villain, and define a trunk port where you can send multiple villain so we have villain 100 villain 101 and villain 102 this is it department this is sales department and this is accounts department you can see different ip subnet so ip subnet is actually associated with villain and each villain has its own separate subnet let's see the configuration on microtech router To add a villain, we first go to the interface, then plus sign to add, select the villain, we have to enter our name, we have to check what we name our diagram, it is villain 100, so it will be villain 100, villain id will be now you have to select the interface. Normally you select for your LAN interface. So we assume we connect our switch in Ether3 interface. So we select the Ether3 interface for LAN. You can name anything you want. Okay. 
Okay, apply. And okay. Now create another one. Villain hundred one. Villain ID will be hundred one. Port will be ether three. And which department? Hundred one is sales department. Okay. Sales. Now add another villain. Villain hundred two. ID will be hundred two. Interface ether three. So that's it. This will work as a trunk or in router ways we call it tag pro. Okay. Now we have to add IP address to the villains. Each villain has its own separate subnet. You can see one six eight hundred block. This is hundred one, and this is hundred two. So you configure accordingly. Your IP address. Click plus sign. This is actually the gateway of that particular villain. So we configure it for 100 villain. So villain 100 is for IT department. Click apply and OK. Now we can copy it for another IP address. One this is for 101 sales department. You can copy another one for 102. This is for 102 villain. So, your devices on that particular villain will communicate with other villain through this router so you can see router ways treat each villain as separate interface so you can apply net rule firewall filters and other rules to that villain interface we have to check the net here IP firewall as we didn't specify the source address so it will work for each villain so everyone from different villain will get internet through this route okay so this way you can build campus network as well so that's all for today thank you very much and please subscribe if you need more tutorials on my goodies